Myriad Ndege a farmer in Machinga district in southern Malawi is now growing millet, soybeans, and maize after growing tobacco for 25 years. Low prices coupled with what she calls unfair tobacco buying practices at the market are among the reasons she switched three years ago. Farmers do not have a say on prices offered at auction floors. Sometimes the buyers would even reject tobacco bales. When this happens, I would start borrowing money to pay for transport I used to carry the bills to the auction floors. Besides growing crops, Ndege also layers goats, doves, chickens, ducks and peacocks she uses as manure to mitigate the impact of the recent rise in fertilizer prices. From the time I stopped growing tobacco, my life has changed. For example, last year, I was able to buy a motorbike and a motorcycle, and now I am able to pay school fees for my children who are in secondary schools. Tobacco has long been a main foreign exchange earner in Malawi, amassing over 50% of the country's export earnings. It has also been the main source of income for many farmers in Malawi. I have been benefiting a lot from tobacco farming, and I have no plans to quit farming because tobacco is the only source of income. However, the WHO anti-smoking campaign says tobacco farming poses severe public risks to farmers who may absorb nicotine equivalent to smoking 50 cigarettes a day. The Malawi government took a significant step last year by ratifying WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control Treaty, which advocates a reduction of tobacco production. However, some farmers who are now growing legumes, such as Saeed Muhammad, say the challenge is lack of sustainable markets for their crops. It becomes difficult to find a market for soybeans in our area. As a result, we don't get enough revenue, but we find relief in groundnuts, which are fetching better prices, unlike tobacco, whose prices are unpredictable. Agriculture experts say there is hope for these farmers, citing the recent announcement by a local manufacturing company to establish a soybean oil extracting industry in Malawi in the next six months. Definitely, we understand that uh, that industry has potential uh, to absorb over 150,000 uh, metric tons of soya. So we believe when it comes to a ready market for soya, then definitely that market will be, will be there. Chimwaza also says farmers like Ndege are poised to realize more revenue from their harvest following a recent launch of a soybean exports to China, which saw a local company sending a 240 metric ton trial consignment to China in May. Lamik Masina, VOA News, Blanta.